Because we're not having a conversation with what you've done. Yeah. What annoys oh, me, no what annoys me is the fact that you're sitting here thinking you did nothing wrong and I'm a crazy one. That's what gets into me. <laughs> you know what? Everything that happened last night, I will tell you. All right? I'm talking about everything that transpired between Yemi and Kosi. I'll tell you. And then I'll go ahead and give you my own verdict. I'll tell you my perspective. And guys, as I'm telling you everything that happened, as I'm spilling the tea, please just be giving me your own perspective about the whole matter in the comment section below. Bearing in mind that we had a conversation on Saturday during our FSWG YouTube live stream, yeah? And we all agreed that Yemi and Kosi are playing a game. This time around, it will now occur to you that these two people are not only playing a game, hmm, they also need each other to survive in Big Brother's house, whether we like it or yes. They need each other to survive. They have a symbiotic relationship Hmm. <laughs> they depend so heavily on each other to create highlights. They depend so heavily on each other, yeah, to, to create content for the show. Without Yemi in that house, there is no Kosi 100%. Without Kosi in the mix of Yemi's shenanigans and his flirting games, there is no Yemi's game 100%. So I'm going to pause here with my own analysis. I'll go ahead and tell you in details everything that transpired between those two people. Staring, of course, Blue Ava, yes. Because Blue Ava now, from the look of things, is being used by these two people to create basis for arguments, to create their own kind of content, their own kind of highlight, their own kind of content. So let's get into it but before we do so let me officially welcome you back to my youtube channel hi you're especially welcome back my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory and i am the girl with the T. Yes, so if you are newly subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for becoming a part of this family. To those of you who are returning viewers or returning subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to click on this video to watch. If you're not a part of those categories, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. That said, let's quickly continue into the video. Okay, from the top, it all started right after the live eviction show. Yeah, the housemates were gathered outside in the garden area on the patio. Um, they were just having random conversations. And then I noticed the sitting arrangements um, between these three people, Yemi, Kosi and Blue Ava. It was very significant to the situation they found themselves because Yemi was right in the middle of these two women choosing not to cuddle up on the sofa with any of them guys and i was wondering like okay was it not the same yemi that was about to throw punches on friday night you know at miracle all because of kosi so why is he being hesitant now to you know get into some level of pdas with kosi anyways that was me thinking out loud whilst watching that particular scenario and um, before we knew it yemi had walked into the house and then Kosi was also inside the house with him. And then they were both eating noodles from one bowl. Kosi was at the kitchen counter with Black Boy. Guys, the way they were sat, they were directly sort of opposite each other. That's the pairs were directly opposite each other. And I was looking at these people and I was wondering like, okay, it's the audacity for me. It's the audacity for me. I mean, this is the same thing that gets Kosi mad. Yami being all cozy with Blue Ava. And that was exactly what he was doing with her at that dining table where they were eating. Now, if you had listened to the conversation they were having, oh my God, it was kind of raunchy. And it was right there and then that Blue Ava had shown Yemi her pussy cat. She did. <laughs> I mean, it was unbelievable. I could not believe what I had just seen, what I had just watched. Yes, 
this girl literally opened her legs for Yemi to see. They were having a very, very funny conversation and we we're speaking in coded language like, oh, how is, um, how is she doing? And then Blue Eva is saying, oh, you know, you know, you know, she's always saying, you know, you know, you know, she's tight, she's cool, she's sitting pretty. And she was just saying things like that. And then before we knew it, she was like, oh, you want to see? And then she adjusted herself properly on the chair and then she opened her legs and Yemi saw what he needed to see because obviously she wasn't wearing panties, probably, yes, and Yemi was acting like, oh, you know what? Let me look at this book so that I'll be, I'll be focused on this book. Now, he was sitting and facing Kosi that was at the kitchen counter with Black Boy. Now, whilst he was having this dirty, you know, coded conversation with Blue Ava, his eyes were darting from Blue Ava to Kosi, from Blue Ava to Kosi, because he wanted to see if Kosi was watching or even trying to eavesdrop on their conversation. He continued flirting and talking dirty with Blue Ava. Meanwhile, Kosi, on the other hand, was kind of seeing the chemistry between these two people and she was already pissed. Now, she was talking about it with um, Black Boy and that was where she told Black Boy that she was considering moving her bed space from Santin. That's the upstairs room. They call the upstairs room Santin. So she was considering moving from Santin to the room downstairs. And um, Black Boy was asking her why exactly she wanted to take that step. Because everybody is seeing what's happening, right? And people just feel like she's just being stupid for him. People just feel like she just enjoys being disrespected. And at this point, people are literally tired of what they are doing in the house. And she was saying that, well, she's trying to change the whole situation that for her moving away from that space, looking for another bed space downstairs um, is the first move. And Black Boy was asking her, like, okay, why do you think it's the first move? I mean, you've been doing this thing for a long while now, but this guy, and then now you want to move your bed space. You think it's going to change anything? Now, she was acting like she was tired. She didn't know what she was doing. She didn't even know what to do, you know, which is what I mentioned to you all on Saturday during our live stream, that some of the strategies Kosi was employing in playing out this game is acting clueless, acting naive, acting gullible, Yes, acting indecisive just to draw pity from people. But those were her strengths, not really weaknesses. That was exactly what she was doing to Black Boy. And then she was asking Black Boy, I hope you have my back because I have a strong feeling I'll be nominated on Monday. And the guy was laughing, you know, she was like, oh, so I, I, I hope I have you and uh, you have my back, you and um, Tabang, you know. So she was indirectly canvassing for their support to not be nominated together with her pair. So it was just a very, very interesting conversation. Fast forward to Yemi and Blue Ava. They were done eating. And so together, they walked to Blue Ava's room, right? Um, Blue Ava said she wanted to go and sleep. So when they got to Blue Ava's room, these two people decided to use um, Tabang's bed as their Sina spot. That is what I call it, yes. So these people were on Tabang's bed and they were talking dirty and they were kissing. Guys, oh my God, the make out. <laughs> Don't even dare. Don't even dare. See, the way these people made out, it was more intense than what Yemi has ever had with Kosi in that house. And it's making me suspect if these people has not already done things. Yeah. Like, have they done things or not? Because they are operating like they've already smashed in that house. And the cameraman just did not want to show us whatever is going on between those two people. So they were literally kissing and making out. And Blue Ava obviously was really horny. And then she was telling Yemi to stay with her on her bed. Yemi was saying, oh, your bed is not comfortable. Don't worry, I'll come back. And then he promised to come back later. And guys, this is what Yemi does. In case you don't know, let me tell you what Yemi does, right? When Kosi is asleep upstairs at night, Yemi sneaks back downstairs to come and kiss Blue Ava, to chat with her, you know, just to do things with her. And then he goes back upstairs, crawls into bed and cuddles Kosi like nothing ever happened. And that was exactly what happened last night. After he had had his first round with um, Blue Ava, he assured her, in fact, promised her that he was coming back at night as usual and then he went upstairs guys this guy had a boner yeah he had a boner and he was trying so hard to cover it with his top so he went upstairs and as he was going like a criminal like a thief his eyes were just darting left and right oh he wants to see where Kosi is so he went upstairs crawled into bed as usual 
and was trying to cuddle Kosi. And that was where Kosi told him, pop and playing that, listen, I'm done. And he started playing defensive. He started playing the victim. And started again using reverse psychology on Kosi, which is one of the strategies I mentioned to you all on Saturday that Yemi uses to entrap Kosi to his side. Yes. Now this guy was like, what did I do? Why? What did I do? And Kosi was like, no, I'm tired of the whole house seeing me as a fool. That one too was playing her own script. And these people were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So Yemi was trying so hard to convince Kosi that he's a good guy. And then he was like, F everybody. I don't care what the F everybody in the house says about me. I'm not a perfect man. I, 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 this is who I am. This is who I am. I told you right from the beginning, I'm a flirt, blah, blah, blah. And Kosi, both of them were just literally raising their voices at each other at some point. They were just going back and forth. And then Kosi would one minute say, oh, you know what? I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. But she was still sit down there. Her bum bum was glued to that bed. Yeah. Oh, I'm leaving. I don't lie. I'm tired. I'm tired. Let me leave my bed. Let me will still stay there. Guys, to call, see, yeah, the, because the conversation was kind of lengthy. Yeah. For over 20 minutes, these people were going back and forth, back and forth. To cut the long story short. Kosi left the bed and then she came downstairs to come meet Tabang. And so she was begging Tabang that, oh, she would like to sleep on his bed um, that night. And Tabang was like, no, just avoid me for the next 24 hours because I don't want a target on my back. The whole house is upset with you and Yemi. So I don't want people to start thinking I'm part of your drama because people are always creating drama. So leave me alone. Don't sleep in my bed <laughs> so that I do not get nominated. So she started looking for a bed space. That was when she now went back to Miracle in the dressing area. Then she was explaining to Miracle that, oh, uh, she's looking for bed space, blah, blah, blah. Now, as they were talking, Yemi left upstairs. Okay, before he left upstairs, um, Nelisa was already consoling him, saying that, oh, I see that you feel bad because um, um, Kosi wants to break up with you. Don't worry. And Yemi was like, who? Do I look like I feel bad? <laughs> I mean, I was laughing. I said, Nelisa doesn't even know what's up. I'm mean, like, shift. So, Yemi said he wanted to use the restroom. So, when he was passing through the dressing area to the restroom, he saw Kosi and Miracle whispering. So, he didn't know what was going on, but I felt like that was a trigger because this dude automatically felt threatened instantly. So, probably thinking that, hmm, maybe Kosi has run back to Miracle Law, right? So, let me go back and make up things with Kosi. Getting a bed space in the room downstairs did not work out well for Kosi because in a kind of jokey jokey way, the housemates there rejected her. It was actually serious, but they were laughing about it, but she knew that they were actually serious about it. And even Miracle was trying to talk Tabang into taking either Sanja's bed or Theo's bed so that Kosi would sleep on his own bed. Tabang completely refused. Yes. Anyways, Kosi realized that she was defeated. She did not really have an option. And then she called Yemi that they should go out to the garden to talk. It was when they got to the garden, Yemi started professing love, allegiance, loyalty, fealty to Kosi. Oh, babe, you know that I ride hard for you. You know that I'm for you. You know what? Moving on, I'm going to keep my distance from Blue Ava. I'm going to stop flirting with her. Uh, you know, I would choose you over and over again. But trust me. Trust me. If I have a choice, I'll pick you. Hey! That's how I'm saying to you. You need to trust me. Look at me. Look at me. You need to trust me in this sense. Hey! It is you that I want. It's you I would choose. You know all those nonsense lies that most guys tell to women that are very gullible. This guy was literally lying and lying and lying. And guys, it was very obvious that Kosi was just enjoying the attention. It was obvious that she was enjoying the back and forth, right? Because when they are talking, the cameras are flipping and zooming in and out on them. So they know that they are the current content at that point in time. So Kosi has a woman be smiling and she's telling me, no, let me know. Anyways, to cut the long story short, the kiss that made up again <laughs> for the hundredth time <laughs> last week. The kiss that made up again. And guys, that was how they carried their two left leg to their matrimonial bed upstairs to go and cuddle and sleep together. And I was here. And guys, I had no choice but to come to the conclusion that, <laughs> listen, nobody should give themselves headaches over these two people because they both depend on each other to survive on the show yes they have a very very symbiotic relationship which is also parasitic 
Yeah, because they are both draining each other of their sanity, but they're enjoying it because at the end of the day, it's a game for them. Their game plan depends on each other to survive. They need each other to stay relevant in that house. They need each other, yeah, to make it through to the finals. They need each other to create their own kind of entertainment. Kosi alone cannot create entertainment because I'll be asking myself, okay, without Yemi in the picture, what exactly does Kosi bring to the table in that house? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, and, that, and that's on period. I ask myself the same thing about Yemi. Can Yemi have a solid relationship with Blue Ava in that house without Kosi in the picture? Hell no. Kosi cannot have a single relationship with a single female in that house. Yemi cannot have a single relationship with a single female in that house. And that is because that is not his game plan for the show. His game plan is to involve and entangle and entrap as many females as possible in his flirting game. It is his flirting game that's going to make him the most talked about housemate of the season. It is his flirting game that's going to keep him abreast of all the other housemates. It is his flirting game that will continue to be his highlight, that will continue to be his content because Yemi is a very quiet person. Yes, and even though he, 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 he comes across as being very, very competitive, he's not that competitive in the arena games. Yes. So the one thing that makes Yemi really stand out in the game, aside his fine face, is the fact that he is an expert and professional flirt, an expert and professional cheat. And that is what is working for him and it's going to continue working for him. Same thing goes for Kosi. Kosi on her own does not bring a different kind of entertainment. Uh, on her own, she's not entertainment itself. She's not content in itself. She needs to continue her back and forth shenanigans with um, Yemi. Yes. To continue and guys guess what yemi and kosi's relationship will be dry and dead without any third party involved that's the deal ladies and gentlemen i leave it to you to go ahead and share with me your own perspective um, in the comment section below See you guys on another video soon have an amazing day